Let us pick up our data points systematically. The algorithm is saying that the first row of the data and the second row of the data belong to the same cluster. The ground truth is also agreeing that the first row and the second row belong to the same cluster. Therefore, the first and second rows form a true positive sample. Let us keep track of how many true positives we have seen so far. Let's keep track of how many false positive, true negative, and false negatives we have seen so far as well. Of course, zero so far for F, P, T, N, and F, N. Let us move to the next pair. The first row and the third row are coming from two different clusters. Hence, this pair is negative. The crown truth is also saying that the first row and the third row are from two different ground truth clusters. Hence, this pair is a true negative pair. Let us update our count of true negatives. Now, the first row and the fourth row, these are from two different algorithmic clusters and hence negative. They are from two different ground truth clusters, hence we have another true negative. So far, we have seen two true negative pairs. Now, the first row and the fifth row, they are from two different algorithmic clusters and hence negative. They are from two different ground truth clusters. Hence, we have another true negative. We have seen three true negative pairs so far. So far, we have seen one true positive and three true negatives. Note that we are done with the pairs that involve the first row. Let us pick up the second row now. The second and the third rows are from two different algorithmic clusters. So the pair is considered negative. They are from two different ground truth clusters. Hence, we have another true negative. So far, we have seen four true negative pairs. The second and the fourth rows are from two different algorithmic clusters and are considered negative. They are from two different ground truth clusters as well. Hence, we have another true negative. So far, we have seen five true negative pairs. The second and fifth rows are from two different algorithmic clusters and two different ground truth clusters. And so we have another true negative. So far, we have seen six true negative pairs, a lot of true negative pairs here. We are done with all pairs involving the second row. The third and the fourth rows are from two different algorithmic clusters, hence it is a negative pair. Now notice that the third and the fourth rows are from the same ground truth cluster, which is cluster three of ground truth. Hence, we have a false negative pair. The third and fifth rows are from the same algorithmic cluster, which is cluster one. Hence, this is a positive pair. However, the ground truth says they are from two different clusters, and hence we have a false positive. Let us update FP. In our quest to pick up all pairs, the last pair is the fourth and fifth rows. They are in two different clusters in both algorithmic results and ground truth. Therefore, this pair is a true negative pair. Let us update TN. We have a total of one true positive, one false positive, seven true negatives, and one false negative. As said earlier, red index is the number of true thingies divided by the number of all thing is true thing is our number of true positive pairs plus number of true negative pairs that is tp plus tn that is one plus seven which is equal to eight the number of all pairs will be tp plus fp plus tn plus fn which will be one plus one plus seven plus one equal to ten this is all the pairs for five rows, which will be four plus three plus two plus one. 
So 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, that is 10, will be the number of all the pairs available within these five rows of data. For rand index, we have 8 divided by 10, which is 0 0.8. Remember, earlier we said if we have exact algorithmic levels changed to another unique levels in ground truth, that will result in 100% match, which was this case. Here, algorithmic cluster 0 is ground truth cluster 2, algorithmic cluster 1 is ground truth cluster 3, and algorithmic cluster 2 is ground truth cluster 1. If you apply the process how we computed a RAND index, you will see that you only have true pairs, either true positives and true negatives. There will be no false positive or false negative pairs. For this, you'll get TP equal to 2, FP equal to 0, TM equal to 8, and FN equal to 0. Therefore, TP plus TN is equal to 10, and the denominator will be TP plus FP plus TN plus FN, which would sum up to 10. As a result, the RAND index will be 1. That is, in clustering evaluation, even if the labels do not match at all, still you can have the maximum possible RAND index, which is 1.0. Pretty amazing, isn't it? See you soon.